Okay, so in this video, I'm going to do a test with the SkyTrack versus the Wiz Eye. Um, I've purchased both units, um, SkyTrack or the Wiz Eye company. Nobody asked me to make this video. Nobody sent me anything. I paid for all this. So this is for you to, to learn from. Um, I sell SkyTracks and I sell Wiz Eyes, but you can get them from many places. So let's see. We'll hit a uh, ball to the left here. Is it ready? Yeah, everything's ready. Okay. So I hit a little shot out to the left. I see the same thing on the SkyTrack. See what numbers we got. We got 55 backspin versus 53. Um, Law carry says 80 feet versus 25 feet, so that's 70. Five yard, no, wait a minute. 75, 25 yards, 75 feet. So about five feet off there on that one. So what's that, a yard and a half off? So let's hit a ball to the right. Let's see, sky track, we got a ball going to the right. Whiz eye, we got a ball going to the right. Let's see, we got 36 yards of carry on the sky track versus 39. Spin says 67 on the Wiz versus 66 on the Skytrack. Pretty good still. Looks like uh, just that three yards off there on the, on the carry. Um, I'm not sure what the elevation set at with both of these, so take that into consideration. I'm sure there's a difference in the algorithm here. Let's hit a full 56 here. Shows me pulling in a little left. Same thing on the Skytrack left. Skytrack says 81 yards, 85 yards on the Wiz Eye. Backspin was 78 versus 99. Uh, I'm not sure. Let me see what ball I'm using. All right, I'm using a very beat up Titleist, so I'm not sure that it actually got um, the logo where it was supposed to be. So let's switch that up and do that again. Uh, launch 33 and 31, but direction, flight, and all that seem very similar. Okay, exact same on both, a little left of center line. We got 81 yards carry versus 84 yards of carry. Um, launch 31, launch 31. Backspin 73 versus 85. Uh, let's see, but they both came out about the same. Let's hit a low 60. Is this a 60? Oh, this is a 60 degree. Sorry. I thought I had a 56. So let's hit uh, a low one here. Well, as low as you can hit a 60. So a little chip right down the center. Skytrack shows the exact same thing. Hair more left on Skytrack versus the Wiz, but. Um, spin number 29 versus 22, launch 25, 25. Carry says 15 yards versus 48 feet, which would be 15-ish yards. I think, I did my math right there. All right, let's move up to another club. I'm gonna change it on here, I don't have to, but keep track of what I'm going to. Um, We'll just move up to a pitching wedge. I'll tell Skytrack I'm hitting a pitching wedge too, so we get different colors. Now, let's find a pitching wedge. Let's hit this pitching wedge. All right, so move the ball a little bit so the whiz eye finds it. Okay, set up good on both. Let's hit just a little one here to see what we get. Oh, I hit a fat. Hit right behind it, shows it just right of center. Skytrack showed that move a lot left. Um, I hit behind it real hard, so I don't know if it would have spun that much to the left. Um, I know the Wiz Eye definitely had the face shut as much as I probably had it. So 63 versus 61, pretty similar. Uh, Skytrack had the spin number way down versus backspin on uh, the Wiz Eye. Um, let's see, 27 launch and 27 launch. Let's hit a little bit harder. Wiz wasn't ready. That's my fault. I'm paying more attention to one versus the other here. So Wiz Eye's ready. Skytrack's ready. Okay, here we go. So I got a little draw that's going just left of center. 
Same thing on the sky track. Little draw left to center. Um, we got 67 backspin versus 72. Uh, Carey says 93 yards versus 90 yards. Pretty good. Blanche is a little higher on the whiz. Okay, let's try it again, but hit a little harder. I bladed it. That was junk. Same thing on both. Pushed out to the right. Wiz has me going a little bit more right uh, than the Skytrack does. Um, 61 spin versus 69. Carry 129 versus 122. So just a little bit more of a carry on the E6 software. But that could just be E6 itself. Let's try to actually hit a ball like I can pretend like I know how to do. Alright, that's definitely out to the right just a hair. Um, I see it coming back. Same thing on Skytrack. Even just a little bit right of center line. Spin number is 83 versus 73, so a little bit less spin on the Wiz I. You're right, I think less? Yeah. Um, 27 launch versus 28, 119 versus 111. So I'm consistently getting a little bit of a longer distance on the E6 software. So that sounds like it's probably more of an E6 thing because ball speed read a little bit higher. So that's probably where that's coming from, actually. So the ball speed's showing a little bit higher on the Wiz I. But definitely still similar. One more. Oh. That just, everything felt wrong. I'm going to leave the club face wide open on this one and see what we get. Alright, so we get a junk shot that goes to the right. Skytrack says the same thing. Junk shot that goes to the right. Um, spin 69 versus 79. With a shot like that, your spin's not going to matter. Uh, carry 66 versus 65. Uh, ball speed 65 versus 63. And 36 launch versus 36 launch. So very similar on the two considering this camera's down here on the floor and this one's 10 feet in the air. Um, let's move to another club. Um, let's move to an 8 iron of some sort. Let me find an 8 iron. Alright, I got this blade. 8 iron. Let's move this to, you know what, let's go to a 7. We're going to go to a 7 iron instead. Let's move to a 7. Let me find a 7 iron. Okay. Ready on both? Yeah, ready, ready. Okay. So I'm just going to hit a little punch shot with a 7, see what we get. I hit it nice and fat, but it was pretty straight here left. Skytrack shows it a lot more left. I don't know how a ball is curving that much that you hit fat, but so I'm not sure on Skytrack on that one. Um, 71 yards versus 69 yards. So let's try it again. I'm going to leave the club face open and uh, just hit a little easy one again. So that's a little easy one with the club face a little bit open. Shows the draw coming back to center line. Skytrack's got that one going out to the right a little bit see what my path and face and all that was so it's saying all right so that path was reading 15 inside out e6 has a limit on what the path can be so that could have that i would call that an error on the e6 um, reading but distance wise 102 103 uh, backspin 62 versus 48 but uh, i believe that to be more of an e6 thing because you can't get more than 15 degrees from what i've been told on e6 so let's try it again. So we got a little draw that's just crossing over the center line. Same thing on the sky track. Little draw that's crossing over the center line. We got 148 carry versus 149. 106 ball speed versus 106 ball speed. 6,000 spin versus 5,400 spin. 20 launch versus 21. Um, I mean, there's Nothing wrong with that. Let's try it again. Let's leave the club face a little bit open this time. Let's see what we get. I pulled it, it says. And Skytrack's showing it going, coming back a little bit. Um, not sure which one to go with there. I bet my, see, my path, yeah. Inside out path is 15. So basically my path was so bad that E6 says I can't read any higher than that. 
or I can't, in the, in the way the algorithm works, it doesn't go any higher than that, from what I'm told. But carry distance is the same on both. Um, that wasn't a great shot, so that would have, let me try to actually hit a good one. So we got a big swinger left. Well, not big, but good swinger. Same thing on Skytrack. So the full shots, it's very accurate on. Those ones that you hit bad, um, you're going to get different numbers on just because, um, just the way that, uh, you know, you hit the ground, the ball's going to get hit and moved and pushed and, and all that. You're going to get a little bit of a different stuff. What well, we got, 168 carry versus 164, 61 spin versus 55. So, yeah. All right, let's see what I get here. Let me um, try to fix this path. All right, so we got a pull that's starting to curve left. Same thing on the Skytrack, pull is turning left. Now, I'm not saying Skytrack's, you know, a thousand percent correct all the time. That's not the way this works. Um, you can do a, I mean, if, if you want to say Trackman's a hundred percent right, then Skytrack compared to the Trackman's not exactly the same. So, we're not exactly, you know, comparing two things that's saying this one's correct and this one's as close as it can be, or vice versa. There are two separate systems and two separate price ranges with two separate um, ways they're, they're designed to work. So we have carry 152 and we have carry 154, 6,000 spin versus 7,000 spin, and um, 110 ball speed versus 110. So I'm gonna move to, let's hit, you know what? I hate hitting driver, but let's hit driver. I'm not very good at driver. Now, as with all simulators and launch monitors, um, drivers seem to be a little bit harder to read. Everybody has had the issue with Skytrack. I'm gonna have to move my Skytrack here. Um, with high ball speeds, you'll see people post about it all the time about how they're, they don't, uh, they don't agree with the, the reading, or it's not going far enough, or it's going too far, or, or whatever. But Skytrack, um, the longer, the lower you get in the clubs, the harder you're going to have for these systems to find the, the complete accuracy. Even the Mevo Plus. The Mevo Plus does not even work in this room at all. Um, even with, with everything turned off. So... Everything, everything's got its own little, I don't say quirk, but so um, we'll see what we get here. So if these aren't exactly the same between the Wiz and the Skytrack, I couldn't tell you which one's going to be more accurate other than what I feel because Skytrack's not the, the greatest with the, with the driver. So let's hit some easy ones first just to see if we can control certain things. So hit a little draw here, but a super easy draw. All right, so we got a little draw that starts left. Skytrack didn't even pick it up. Say so that felt really good. I mean, good in the sense that I felt like that's what it should have done. Um, let's try it again. Same shot, so we can get it to read. All right, we got a swinger going left. What was up with Skytrack? Let me change my shoes, see if my white shoes are throwing off Skytrack. Both of those seem right to me. Skytrack just seems like it's wanting to be a little bit of a, a pain right now. All right, same shot. Little tiny swing, little draw. And yeah, push it. Skytrack saying the same thing, push it out to the right. And I would say that I feel comfortable with that. Um, spin number was higher on the Wiz. Carry was 187 versus 191. Uh, let's see, ball speed 117.6 versus 118. So it's pretty dang close, but let's try it again. Let's try to hit a big slice. Oh, it says it was straight. Okay, so Skytrack showing a slice on that one. Let's see what we get though. Let's see where the problem is there. Um, 
Okay, so I didn't see what the path was. We'll try it again. Okay. Yeah, let's try that slice again. Okay. Got the same thing on both that time. Could have been. I was trying to hit a slice. Wiz didn't show the slice on the first one. Skytrack did, so maybe the Skytrack's right, but they both showed the same thing on that one. 38 spin versus 35. Um, 169 versus 189. Skytrack gave it a little bit longer, but similar. All right, let's take the speed up a little bit. All right, so you got a big push to the right. Same thing on the Skytrack. Push to the right. Uh, carry 240 versus carry 247. Yeah, this is where you're gonna find your, your different spread of numbers here. Um, 96 versus, or sorry, uh, 26 backspin versus 28 backspin. So uh, that's close enough for me, 100. Let's try it again. Can't hit a draw this time. Oh, she's coming back a little bit. Starting right and coming back to the right center line. Skytrack's got that coming right back more on the center line. Maybe a hair over to the left. But pretty similar. 28 spin versus 24. Um, 244 versus 240 carry. Pretty similar though. All right, let's hit a uh, fade. Not a slice, a fade. Oh, it says I pulled it. Nope, Skytrack's showing a fade. Wiz is showing a pull. Let's see this path and club face. Okay, you know what? All right, so I do want to say this and I should. So the Skytrack, as you can see in the picture, flashes when you're going to hit the ball. So I'm wondering if the camera up here is seeing that flash and it's throwing off what it's looking for because um, let's take the Skytrack away and let's hit that same shot and see if we get a similar shape. Okay, so there you go. Pretty similar, started a little bit more left, but I'm able to move it the way that I want to and the way that I feel it should. So I'm wondering how much that flash is throwing that off. 229 carry versus 229 carry. So let's try it again without the sky track and just see if we get um, from feel what we get. So let's see if I can't hit a big draw. Oh, I hit it on the bottom of the club face, but it definitely drew. It wasn't a full swing, so. Uh, what we got? Yeah, it's 208, so I think like I tried to kill the thing. But, uh, let's hit one more. Oh, that hurt. <laughs> uh, that felt right though, that was a big hook. Let's try to bring the sky track in again. I'm willing to bet um, it's not all shots that it's getting a little bit different on. So I'm willing to bet this uh, that flash, and you can see that flash in there, is blocking the, the camera from seeing what's happening right here. So let's try it again. Let's hit, um, let's hit a real low one. Okay, Skytrack didn't get it. Let's try it again. When I say low, I guess I should be low for a driver anyway, for me. Let's try it again. So let's another low one. Put it back in my stand so I can hit down on it. 
Ooh, yeah, real low. Big pull to the left. Skytrack didn't even get it. So that was, that's right. Pretty comfortable with that. All right. So now, let's see if I can get the sky track to even read. So let's play the ball really far forward and see what we get. Oh, hit the ground. Same thing on both. Jump to the left. But that's good. That's what you want to see. Um, 216 versus 225, launch 14, launch 14, pretty similar. Higher backspin on Skytrack, but with that kind of shot, I don't think backspin's really going to matter. All right, let's play her farther forward again. Try to flatten out this attack angle. Oh, push it hard right. Yeah, held it. All right, so the same on both. So I think with some of those misreads that we get, I think, depending on how the club's coming through, this flash is throwing it off a little bit. I don't really have a way of blocking it. So, because um, all these ones that are real bad are definitely showing up real bad. 265 carry versus 233. Not sure about the 265 carry off that kind of shot, but I mean, it was a bad shot, so. All right, let's try to hit her. A regular fading. I definitely that's correct. No, that. So there's a good difference of how they're different. That felt right. This big left to right, and Skytrack showed it coming back left. I don't think so. Did not feel that at all. I felt that. Let's try it again. Oh, wasn't ready. Skytrack shows if you pull left. It's probably right. Correct, I should say, not right. All right, so last swing. Let's move this back a little bit. We're a little off, make sure the logo is where it's supposed to be. Let's hit. Left to center line, it comes back to center line. Now, I suck at driver, so, but that's my attention, that's the shot I'm trying to hit. Ah, pull! Same thing? Nope. Sky Strike's got it going way right. So, let's get rid of the Sky Track again. Try to hit that same shot. Let's see if. That uh, um, flash is throwing that off. See, that's the shot I was trying to hit last time. And that's the same that we were getting from the shot that I just hit off Skytrack. So I'm wondering, and you can see there's no flash in that. So I think the flash is throwing that off. So whether it's. Uh, like when you try to hit a fade that way, or you try to hit a slice or a draw, um, that club being open and that flash is blocking this camera from reading what's going on. So let's try it again, but we'll hit a draw this time. Oh, the glasses fell off. Now let's push to the right. which I don't disagree with. The club face was open at the impact, you can see that. And the path was in the out, so that sounds correct. So let's shut this club face, do one last test. I'm gonna try to shut this club face down and swing hard right to left, or into out, sorry. And that's what you got. Okay, so that's the test between the Skytrack and the whiz eye.